In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, we'll be learning to make this lens flare transition and we'll be doing that in a very simple and easy way. So, I already have a couple of videos in my project. Let me drag them to the right side panel here so that they get added into a sequence. So, we'll be creating a transition between these two videos exactly at this point here. To do that, I already have a lens flare overlay that I downloaded from Production Crate. So, Production Crate is an amazing website where you can download a lot of content absolutely for free. All you have to do is go to the link in the description and register in the website. And once you do that, from VFX and Motion Elements, I'll click on Transitions. Or I can simply search for an Amorphic 27. I think that's the one that we are using. I'll uncheck this Preview Pro content. So, we'll be using this Anamorphic Transition 27 that you can download for free after registering in the website. So, once you have it inside your project, make sure you drag it to the right side just between these two clips. If you start playing the video, you can see that you have this black background. In order to fix that, select the overlay and change the blending mode from normal to screen. Alright, once you do that, you'll have to make sure that this frame is between these two clips. So as soon as the screen completely becomes white, this frame has to be placed between these two clips. And we have that already. So if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the transition is happening. And that is exactly what we need. You can see that at this frame, it is a little harsh. To fix that, I'll go to the FX panel and type in fade. You can see that we have this we have this cross dissolve effect and I'll move this towards the start. And if I start playing this, you can see that the entry of the effect is quite smooth rather than harsh. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and see you guys next time with another tutorial.